Sup guys, I'm back and oh boy, it's time. It is finally time. Godzilla minus one. But it's not time yet though. Uh, it is still dark out. Uh, and I'm actually right now on FaceTime with the person I am seeing it with. Hi. Not not the Squishmallow, but um, <laughs> not Squishmallow, but there she is, Hi. Alana. You guys remember from the last video? So yeah, we are seeing Godzilla minus one tomorrow in 3D, and hopefully, um, what? Is it me? <laughs> And hopefully my eyes don't hurt, because remember the last time I saw a movie in 3D, uh, my eyes and my head hurt. But I had to for that, so hopefully we'll be A-OK. -okay. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. It is officially the next day, guys, and I am wearing my Godzilla Minus One shirt that I pre-ordered a while ago. These are like the opening night shirts. I noticed a lot of people got like the... Um, the is that guys little one i just got this one and the back like i'll just show you a picture of the back right here so yes it is currently what time is it right now it is 10 55 in the morning right now i have class at 2 then at 3 30 and then minus one at seven o'clock with alana oh my gosh guys i'm so pumped for this movie i mean I'm, i want to keep my expe expectations low because, you know, I don't want to hype it up too much to the point where I may not like it, but it's got like 100% Rotten Tomatoes at the moment as of this recording. It's just, I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera a lot, guys. But um, yeah, I am so, so, so excited. I cannot wait. The suspense is killing me. Can it be 7 o'clock already? Please? <laughs> I'll see you guys at the theater. All right, guys, we're not at the theater just yet. Uh, I'm still waiting on girlfriend Alana to let me know when she's done because she's a part of this thing I have on my college campus called ZTV she's uh one of the um each member of the um the team has to do like a film like a sketch every week and she's a part of one of the sketches um that they're filming today so I just gotta wait for her to get done and then I'll be able to go to the theater see minus one let's go hey that guy um, literally it wasn't even green and he went, kept going. Alrighty, so guys, I have just been picked up by my girl and we are on the way to Cinemark to watch Godzilla Minus One. She, she knows, she's been on the receiving end of all, all my, what do you call it, like ramblings about this movie. Yes. I am so freaking pumped for this movie. I just, I can't wait. Let's get to the movie theater! I'm trying, but I'm gonna be uh, respecting the I know. speed <laughs> <No>. limit. <laughs> Actually, this yellow, this orange yellow light. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, guy, this homelet. Oh my gosh. And All right. <laughs> well, Hopefully, there wasn't a police officer. Yeah, it's fine. Oops. All right. Well, we'll see you guys when we get to the theater. Alrighty. Um, Corey uh, had to go to a pit stop. Here's the snacks. We got Sour Patch Kids for Corey. Then I got my uh, heart ropes. We got the tickets. And then we got medium, 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 medium sized popcorn. I'm not even looking at <laughs> And uh, we're seeing early access, so they don't even have the poster out yet. Um, so I'm just waiting here. Uh, they're playing the uh, little, little advertisements. The movie, and then there's Corey. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, we're seeing it in here. See your early access will be uh, 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 uh. See you. Wow. Yeah. Hi. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's go in now. Let's get in. Turn, you, uh, turn that off. Turn, turn, turn it off. Wait with your head. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. That was amazing. I guess that explains because like I had like one question with like the whole thing. I'm like, how does Shh, that hold on a minute. We're gonna get into oh we're gonna get into in the car, we're gonna get into Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. In the car we're gonna do a discussion about spoilers and non spoilers, okay? Mini po mini podcast. Mini uh, review afterwards. Mini review. Um But oh my gosh, that was 
That's a, that movie was so good. <laughs> what, do, what do you think of that movie? I mean, it, it did keep me entertained with like me not really understanding fully of Godzilla. And also I had to leave once. It was still, still kept me engaged. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, yeah, that was such a good, I love that movie. That, that movie was, I don't know if it was, I'm coming off the, the emotional high right now from the movie, but that was just, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Alana's car right now. Yes, oh, I probably need to, sorry, I need to. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just gonna say, we're gonna go non-spoilers right now. Oh, just I, give, give like a brief synopsis of the movie. We're not gonna be on non-spoilers for too long. Okay. So basically, yeah. so this movie, very good. I really, really liked it. Wait, before um, we, okay, before we start, this is with a perspective of a very obsessive thanks. man, grown thanks. man, that really loves this big alligator. And, uh, He's a huge Godzilla fan, if you didn't know, if you have not been on this channel before. <laughs> um, and I'm the uh, the noob of Godzilla. She's seen one Godzilla I've seen movie. one. She saw the very original. But from the previous video that I was in, I saw none, but I actually, I saw one yeah. now. So uh, <laughs> I only know that he goes roar and murders people. So, um, okay, go from the top. <laughs> so basically, this movie I thought was really good. It was a well-rounded movie. like. Like there was, it was very well rounded. They kept it safe, really, with Godzilla. They didn't like go over the top. I mean, there weren't like t too many surprises with Godzilla mm -hmm. in this one. I mean, a lot of things. You know, I mean, there were a few things that caught you off guard, but like not too many things. But it, overall, like this movie, just it was the right balance of just. It was just the right balance movie. It was very well rounded. I kind of feel like because you said like there wasn't any like. I guess a jump scare of when Godzilla would come on screen because you know he would come on screen because they add like this um it's like this like deep low like bass sound effect every time like when you were like uh oh there's something coming and of course it's you know Godzilla yeah. um yeah I think like that's the only like every time like when he, like as that's nice what I've been noticing like every time he comes like on screen like you hear that like boom or something like erupting and then everyone's like where's it coming from <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's a big thing and another thing is this guy's little atomic breath is not to be trifled with like this yeah. atomic breath you like is just one of the most powerful iterations of the atomic breath you'll ever see i mean it's just the amount of damage it causes mm -hmm. is just I mean, I'm not going to go too much into the detail at the moment because this is a non-spoiler, but the amount of damage it causes is just incredible. It's crazy. It is insane. It goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is insane. Um, also, the so we're going to go over like the, the the score, the the music in this movie is amazing. Oh, that's it was pretty good. The yeah. amazing the soundtrack just. I recommend you go to a theater that has really good audio, has a really good sound system. Don't go to a movie theater that has a really bad sound system because you really want to hear what's going on in this movie. Yeah. Because it's, it's just the music, just you feel the music with every moment in this movie. It's just, it just, the music helps make the movie. And yeah. another thing, another thing here. This is something that American Godzilla movies have never been to nail. Never, what am I saying? Have Words. never been able to nail the human characters. The characters in this movie are amazing. I love the human characters. The main character, he's amazing. It's the characters in this movie are just, they're just so good. I mean, because like going back to like the the music and like the sound of like having like good speakers. Because like literally, like when. Godzilla would literally go Frah! you can literally like you can feel it in your bones like it was that like loud in the theater and of course like certain parts of the movie I'm literally up yep. against Corey and I'm like doing this because it's too loud but ears. like it was a good loud it wasn't like a like ears bleeding loud yeah it was it, it wasn't the whole time it was kind of more like the whatcha scenes yeah. So, yeah. there's no karate. I don't know why I did that. Um. Yeah, and it's just, it's just a really good movie. Like, 
I mean, like, what would you rank, like, rated? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, like, I know you had to leave the movie for a little yeah. bit. So you haven't seen much of it. I don't know. I guess... From coming from a non-Godzilla fan, you're going to be very shocked. I was going to give it an 8 out of 10. Oh! So you know what's actually, you know what's actually good? Uh-huh. I had a feeling before this movie that you were actually going to give it a really high rating. Really? I had a feeling before this movie that you were going to give it a really high rating. Like, how high would you think I was going to do? I mean... I mean, there's always speculation that I, would, you were, I was going to think that this is maybe, maybe your favorite movie of all time. I know it's not coming close no. to that. But for you to give it that high of a rating, that's a really, it's a really Cause good I, score. Because I was, my brain was going to be like, say six to make Corey mad. But I'm like, it doesn't earn a six out of ten. Yeah. But like, it's how I was explaining before. Because like, we got in the car and like, of course, he had to FaceTime his dad. He's like, oh my gosh. Because also his uh, dad is... <laughs> Also loves um, well, Godzilla. My, no, my dad doesn't love Godzilla. He got me into it. Okay. He just introduced me. Sorry, introduced I don't me. know a, the storyline. He's, he's not a big fan like me. You know, he just you know he's more of the casual, the casual Godzilla fan. But I think now we can move into spoilers. So wait, I wasn't done. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I'll give it. <laughs> no, I forget. I hate I'll, when that happens. I'll, I'll give it my. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is what I was going to say. Sorry. Okay. Um, even though you're not like, a, if you're not a Godzilla fan and somebody that is a Godzilla fan is forcing you to, not forcing you, but like, it's like, hey, can we watch this movie? And you're like, okay, sure. I guess I'll watch it. Like, I don't know anything about the, like, Godzilla in general. If you love, like, action movies, I feel like this would be, like, in the category of an action movie. I don't know what genre it is, but, like, it, it, I feel like it's a really good, decent, like, action movie. It kept me, like, engaged the yeah. whole time, which is I love in movies because, like, if it's, if it's not engaging, I'm just like, why am I even here? Like, I wasted, like, a ticket to be here. But it was, it was a you good... You didn't waste a ticket I paid for. I know. <laughs> I'm saying if I was, like, if I went by myself, but, like, yeah. you know, so... It, it was not that bad if you don't, like, it's not like you need, like, the, I guess, the knowledge of Godzilla before you right. walk into the theater. It will still make sense when you watch yeah. the movie, this so. This is a really good Godzilla movie to get people started with. Yeah. It's really, and for my ranking, before we get into spoilers, I was, it is really tough. I know it's probably between an eight and a half and a nine. Is this movie mm. just well-rounded? It's just, it's hard to find a lot of flaws. And as we move into spoiler territory, there's one flaw that I have. But wait, hold on. But you said that this was like one of your top five. So is there one that's like actually a 10 out of 10? It is really, <sighs> there are ones that stand out to me with 10, there's a, there's a, there's a couple that stand out to me with their 10, their, 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 you know, 10s across the board. It's really, I know there are, but, it's not, uh -huh. but this is definitely one that's almost in contention for a 10 out of 10. But as we move into spoilers, I'm going to have to see the movie again to get another perspective on it. Yeah. So we get into spoilers. Excuse me. You're excused. Um, <laughs> I wish there was more Godzilla, but like that's more of like a, a, a nitpick. I mean, that's not something that ruins the movie for me. And also, this is a big thing that people were talking about before the movie. A big like leak that was apparently rumored out there that there were two Godzillas that fight each other. There technically, oh. there technically is two Godzillas, but they don't fight each other. Wait, what do you mean? So basically, there was a, a leak out there that stated that there was going to be one Godzilla, like the one we saw in the movie, the radioactive, you know, the mutated version, then uh -huh. another more natural Godzilla, not affected by radiation, and those two would battle it out. Those two would fight each other. But there is a scene there is a godzilla in the movie that does it's the same godzilla as the one that appears in the movie but you see godzilla in the movie before he's evolved before he's mutated more, by the nuclear bombs more before he upgraded yeah before yeah bef like no, a pokemon more, yeah before <laughs> pokemon evolved um so yeah that's basically i guess where the rumor came from and that's I told I got spoiled about that before the movie. I was just looking on the Japanese version of the Godzilla store, and I saw, I saw the the, the uh, creature on there and a figure. I'm like, oh great, I got spoiled. Yeah, because we were, because uh, I was 
we're of course we're in our car, so I was driving in Corey, um, cause I was for like of course the vlog. Um, I was like, oh, do you wanna like record like what you think is gonna happen like before we watch it? And he's like, no, I I went on the uh, um, the oh the Japanese Godzilla the Japanese store. Godzilla store and I and I saw a f one of the figures that's in the movie and I was like. Oh, but I thought it was be good. It was gonna look more. Um, I guess I had more like Zinjikwa or something. Because literally when he came out and I looked, and not Alec, you're not Alec. You're poor. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to my dad once. I was like, Court. I'm like, oh, that's not you. Um, and and, and Corey was like, that's the one that what that I saw on the store. And I'm like. Yeah. It literally looks the exact same thing as your other five Godzilla figures you have at home. So I don't understand. Five Godzilla figures. <laughs> the ones that like look the same. Other you have more that like all look I, like I know, I know. But <laughs> so being dramatic. I really like that. And there's like this scene where you like there's, it, it cuts between time periods. Like, you know, there's also yeah, it cuts between time periods so they get nineteen forty five, nineteen forty six, you know, nineteen forty seven. And in between that you get like a a, a a clip of the bomb dropping all of a sudden like I wouldn't say it's like an exact clip you know you don't get to see guys a little fully mute but you can see his eye like before the bomb went off then when the bomb goes off then after but he's more the like, skin's more mutated and all that and also this Godzilla uh this isn't the first time this has been in a Godzilla movie but mm -hmm. his regeneration Godzilla regenerates I don't know if you guys have seen that clip online where they detonate a, a mine in his mouth uh huh that blows a hole in his skull, and that's where that scar comes from. That is in a lot of the promotional images. You know, that's where the scar comes from because mm -hmm. it blew a hole in his face, and they're like, oh, he's dead. But no, it regenerated like yeah. in instantly, so quickly, too. So, that Godzilla has the regeneration factor in this, and it's pretty. Can pretty I spoil disgusting. the ending since we're in spoilers? Yeah, we're in spoilers, yes. Because literally, when he's like, <laughs> um, and everyone celebrates like yeah 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 because like of course this like is happening um in the um who is it a pineapple under the sea oh, yeah, and, <laughs> and and of course like it gives you a like a shot of like the chunk of his body and of course then it just starts going yeah, and, then starts and then and then it blacks out and i'm like of course he's not dead <laughs> like literally it, it gave you like a foreshadowing of yeah. like his face like like coming apart and then going Whoop. <laughs> Sick guys, I'm not dead. And goes ah. So, <laughs> so I knew like he wasn't gonna die because I actually like in because the whole movie I'm like, how are these like actual like Godzilla creatures like they keep coming back because they keep like killing them and then they're still here somehow. Yeah. So I guess like if this happens, if this, if, if this is not the first time this happened, then it makes sense of like oh they thought he got killed, but no he's kind of coming back from the dead like a zombie and then he's probably gonna hide it hide in his own little water yeah. by himself and then they're gonna make another godzilla minus two or probably just godzilla zero maybe because that was zero because you went from negative now it's going to zero but anyway why would um, i go back to zero? oh because that because everything is going back to normal but you yeah. know what is normal <laughs> but yeah basically uh, they do find they have a method to try to kill Godzilla and basically what they do they're gonna they try to like strap like um I forget the the type of uh, chemical it is but they want to sink Godzilla rapidly uh -huh. and people are like oh Godzilla can Godzilla live in the Godzilla lives in the ocean can he just you know survive the, the pressure mm -hmm. well it's called Freon Freon is what it's called if they Freon makes things sink very rapidly and Godzilla and if an organism, even the deepest diving creatures, if they sink at a fast, at a super fast rate, they can they can still be crushed by the pressure, because it's just all that water waste being added on so fast. Yeah, no, because when he was in the movie, he was like, "Hey, what's happening?" I know. <laughs> like he didn't know but then going on. they said if that didn't work, Plan B would be to like to take these underwater, like you know, these flotation devices to rapidly rise them up, you know, rise them up above the water really quick, and that would also. If the original plan didn't do enough, then this plan wouldn't do enough. Um, but yeah, that's basically their plan to kill Godzilla. And also, this Godzilla is just angry. Like, this Godzilla is just 
angry. Well, because they're trying to kill him. I, but even before they were trying to kill him, this dude is, this guy's all is just angry. Yeah. He's pissed <laughs> off. He is just, like, even like when the, like when the humans aren't doing anything, he's just, but just like what? hell bent on killing. But like, what's leading him to that? Like, I have no idea, but you know what? That's what I like about, I guess, you know, to, to hurt this humanity from, for mutating him and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know, but like, it's just, I like it that this guy's all just evil. He doesn't, no, no motives. He's just evil. He just wants to kill. I love the evil Godzillas. So I guess I have another question for you that maybe you can answer. Or I, other... I cannot. I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, maybe you can answer people that are more, uh, got the brain brain on the Godzilla universe. So if he can like, what's the word? Like if something happens to him and Regenerate. he regenerates, does that mean like, is that like the same Godzilla? Like I know it's not from the first movie because he's no, this dies. Is, this but, is a complete, this has no connection to any of the But Godzilla how do you ones. know that? Because this is, this is like set like before any of the others. This is just a completely new Godzilla movie. This is a new take. It has, it has none of the recurring, char recurring I characters. I guess I just need to see like the timeline because like is the first yeah. movie is that like the first sighting of Godzilla? That's it, again. There's, this is its own. This is this movie's in its own universe. But why? Only, no, but, again, they like to reboot the series. They like to reboot <sighs> the series again. Do not. This, I guess I'll, you do not. I know it makes sense of a lot of. No, these are I think it'll just be more cool. If it was just the same guy, but like he just looks like he just changes his figure and he's like, haha, you thought you killed me, but look at me, I'm this random like new guy and uh, I'm gonna yeah, eat no, your family. It, and um, it, it, this happens a lot with the Guys Love franchise. Yeah. They, they ignore a lot of the movies. Sometimes they just only have the original one as continuity. Sometimes it's just their own individual movie. There's no continuity with mm -hmm. the other ones at all. It's just how they reboot. It's just they reboot it so many times. I guess that kind of it's like more refreshing than like having like a sequel or a prequel to something because like because nowadays now we're having prequels like the Hunger Games that we saw, yeah, we which saw was that. was pretty good. That I kind of I kind of want to see that again, but I, yeah. I wish I could see it again for the first time. Um, so I guess like if they're ignoring like all the other movies that are out there but like still having like Godzilla as everyone that I guess like keeping the same Godzilla image I guess it's yeah. kind of refreshing but I don't know I feel they should have like it should be like somehow in the same universe or something like in the timeline because like because I know like in the first movie like they it says something like along the lines like that like Godzilla will come back or something. Yeah, if if nuclear testing con continues, another Godzilla may appear in the world. Yeah. That's what I said. So, I guess that's where I f I feel like that's where they should have kind of kept it kept like the movies connected because if nuclear stuff is happening, that's why all the Godzilla monsters are coming back. I don't know. I'm not yeah. in this fandom, yeah. so I don't know how to. <laughs> express my thoughts and words and I don't, I don't think i'm the only one that's thought of this i don't think i'm the first person oh, to think me, of not. that you are not and this is already 17 minutes yeah so. <laughs> but yeah it's this has to be probably a separate video <laughs> who knows but uh yeah this this film guys is and that's not even counting the stuff i've put i know <laughs> i feel like you need to do like a uh it's like Make a separate video. I'll do whatever. I'll do. Whatever I know, cause I you're the YouTuber of this account. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, guys, um, if you're able to watch this movie in the biggest screen you can, best sound system possible, this movie's great. This is yeah. such an amazing movie. You will not regret seeing it. And yeah, and I know they're like, oh, you know, I'll see it when it comes in, like. Um, what do you see it on like Netflix or or, DVD, or on DVD right. but no like I know like people think like the movie theaters are like expensive and stuff but they don't have like you probably don't have at your house like the surround sound that they do here 
like at a movie theater. And, and, and you definitely want a, a really good sound system yeah. for this movie. It's, it's just the it's just amazing. It's so good. And uh, oh, yeah, she gave it, she gave it an eight out of ten. I gave it around a nine out of ten. And yeah, I would definitely be holding on to these tickets. I you in your baby journal. Uh, I be like, dear Godzilla, oh, baby. Oh my god! I just saw this movie Stop. and it was so good. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, one guys little one. Subscribe to Alana Love and Life. A video will be coming out on our channel soon about us. What do you mean you soon? Have, we haven't, haven't filmed anything. Saying, we need to film a video with us two in it. But no, you haven't done it yet. I know, because I haven't figured out what I want to do. So if you guys have any ideas of what we should do on my channel, you can leave that in the description box. Or not the description, but the comment, comment down below yeah. if you guys actually interact, because my fans don't. <laughs> yeah! Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and... Subscribe. Subscribe.